Time freezes for 48 hours and you're the only thing not affected. What do you choose to do? Try to infiltrate Area 51. Nah, they're the ones causing this. You think you're a step ahead, but you're actually four behind. Get beaten up by a 4D time cop. Time police mother effer. Stop. Breaking. The. Space. Time. Continuum. I bill mess biff time. Sniffle. I find it hilarious that after getting his ass kicked by floating scrotums, he just writes down E equals MC squared. Tales from the Loop did an episode similar to this. Except it spanned months, I assumed. They ransacked stores and fancy homes, caught apparent cheating and lost hope of the situation as a whole. Depressing series and hard to watch, believe it or not, compared to a similar counterpart, like Black Mirror. Simon Stolenhog is an artist and the series was based on the art book of the same name. An Amazon original. Episode 3 for those interested. Other series recommendations, Utopia, UK version, on Amazon. Love, Death and Robots on Netflix. The OA on Netflix. Devs on Hulu. Black Mirror on Netflix. Mr. Robot, Amazon, maybe, depending on country, predestination, a movie. Dark on Netflix. 3% on Netflix. Web link. The original Twilight Zone series did this back in the black and white days. A guy had a stopwatch that he could use to stop time and do things. Did all the obvious stuff with it. But then the watch broke and he was stuck with time frozen forever. Twilight Zone was the original MindF TV. TZ equals the original MindF, yeah. I vividly remember watching the debut episode Where Is Everybody? More than 61 years ago, and I was hooked instantly. Still my favorite TV show of all time, and the late 80s reboot is in my top 5 because, though it wasn't as good as the old B&W, the reboot did not disappoint either. In fact my favorite TZ episode of all time, Dreams for Sale, came from the 80s series. God I love Twilight Zone. My favorite is easily The Obsolete Man. And I actually liked a lot of the ones from season 4. I assume you're talking about Tales from the Loop. If not which one? I was confused because it seemed like it would be a really odd episode of the sitcom from the mid 2000s. Put sunglasses on everyone I can find. Then when time freezes everyone suddenly wonders WTF just happened. No no no, put buckets on everyone's heads far more confusing. Rubber ducks. I feel like these two comments are TF2 references. I have done nothing but teleport bread for two days. And if there's groups of people or couples near each other all wearing glasses already, swap all their glasses around. I wish I could freeze for 48 hours and time would just move on. That's called heroin. Made my day. Took you seven years to get out of it though. Probably browse Reddit and wonder why there's nothing new. Isn't that just normal in Reddit? We had some trouble connecting to Reddit. Procrastinate, problems. Haha, ha, most realistic answer. It would be like having two hours before bedtime to watch a movie and spending most of the two hours adding movies to your watch list. Glad to hear I'm not the only one who does this. Edit, I don't think I've ever got more than about 10 upvotes for anything I've posted on Reddit before. And then I get 3000 for glad to hear I'm not the only one who does this, smiley face. I'll flip through Netflix for an hour feeling like nothing is right, and in the end I watch people restoring guitars and hand tools on YouTube. Procrastinate, problems. Crap, you are probably right. About a half hour of not realizing, 47.5 hours of existential crisis, followed by years of therapy. The true answer. The most honest answer. We'd have no way of knowing it's not forever until it ends, and oh god, what if it happens again and we get stuck? Plus, if time was stopped, would engines even work? 
I don't exactly live in a city. Exactly. My first thought was this answer varies a whole lot on whether or not I know it's temporary. Rob drug dealers. What are they going to do? Report it to the police? Ironically, they actually do. Or you go and they say, A, hey, somebody broke in and threatened me, they took all my money. I once went to somebody that got his cannabis farm burgled and smashed up clearly by a rival dealer and he rang it in and wanted a crime number. Serious question. How many drug dealers homes do you know, and do you know where they stack their money? I feel like this operation is a lot harder than it might seem. Ask the Japanese, they made a whole genre of porn asking this question. Is there something the Japanese haven't made a genre of porn on? How to actually make a woman orgasm to be fair, that's most countries. In all fairness to the Japanese, it's hard to make a woman climax when her genitals are made of large pixelated tiles. Okay you got me, that made me laugh. Finally get a good night's sleep without any interruptions. I am sure sleep is the only thing I will not be having. You underestimate my sleep deficit. Don't try it. As an insomniac, my brain would be like F you. We're not sleeping, we'll keep thinking about random crap and loops until the time freeze stops. And then I'll wake up in the morning after 48 hours, and in sleep deprivation euphoria start realizing crap like how the sound of nature is actually millions of animals, birds and insects desperately trying to get laid. Brother, the sounds of birds chirping are the sound of birds trying to get laid. I'm going to bring that up to my brother whenever he gets high lamal. I would be a bank robbing mofo. I could amass one hell of a stack in 48 hours. Just get to Vegas and pickpocket all the high roller tables and pits. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter edit, wow didn't think I'd get this much likes thank you. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. Yeah and while you're there count the effing votes. Mafo. And while you're there go and check what the F is the hold up with the ballots. Seriously. Staying up late and counting things should be a Vegas core competency. Don't need to worry about cameras or white seas so bring as much supplies to avoid leaving traces as you can. Can't be suspicious if time is frozen and can't get caught if you clean up after yourself. How will you get in the bank vault though? Dynamite? Hell yeah. How would you detonate dynamite though? Right. Wait. That means everything else is frozen as well? Buttons won't work because they can't move, so there's absolutely no way in through codes. You have to have some limited way of interacting with the world and sharing your time, otherwise you'd be immediately encased in solid air and be unable to breathe. Seems like that's your answer then die horribly encased in solid air you can't breathe. Love this answer. This guy time travels. So, who defines the boundaries of what happens and what doesn't? If it's daytime, they are just open. And spend at least the first 24 hours trying to learn how to break into a vault. Tie people's shoelaces together. Pick up all of the dog crap in my neighbor's yard and put it in her living room. And steal the Declaration of Independence, then hide it in Nick Cage's house. Crime. To the bank to the bank to the bank 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 to the bank to the bank to the bank 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 to the bank to the bank to the bank 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 to the bank. Break it down. So much crime. So so much crime. So 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 much crime. Ah yes, the secret ingredient. I like the ambiguity of this response. Would original Post spend his time jaywalking or burning down the orphanage? The world may never know. I think Op's username says enough. RTX 3090, here I come. Spends the whole 48 hours just trying to find one somewhere. It's okay, I live pretty close to Linus Tech Tips, I'm sure he has quite a few laying around. 
Get his Ryzen 5000 series chips too. I'd steal so much edit, this really blew up. Lots of questions about what I'd steal, do security cameras still work, etc. Honestly I didn't put a lot of thought into it. Use your imaginations, it's a hypothetical fantasy situation. Maybe I'd just steal your hearts? I wouldn't steal a lot, just something people assumed was too well guarded to be stolen, and carefully leave a calling card. World's greatest thief, with basically zero effort. Edit, like 20 replies referencing P5 and not a single Lupin reference. Disappointing. The greatest thief that only struck once, and only because they could. Masterful. The act itself doesn't matter. It's not about being the best thief, it's about the legend. If someone stole something the world assumed was impossible to get away with undetected, and left a calling card, people would be talking about who it could be for years. No one would ever have any idea how you pulled it off too, one frame of the video surveillance it's there in the next. Poof it's gone. Yeah, would want something both publicly observable, and under camera, and guard. That way people would be debating about whether it was an inside job or if someone manipulated the footage forever. I'm making national treasure real and stealing the Declaration of Independence. I feel bad if someone else got pinned for it though. The only correct answer. Steal money from banks and replace it with chocolate coins. Edit, brother, I just woke up and found this WTF it took me like 30 seconds to type this. They'll never know what hit them. Walk around naked with no shame. Do a helicopter every now and then. Find a nice beauty spot, drink some beers, whilst having some music on. A basic way to spend my 48 hours, but a peaceful one. Do a helicopter every now and then, lamau, I could imagine a drunk man in the middle of a super busy place as soon as time on freezes doing the helicopter and everyone just like what the F happened here? Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.